Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome into Deliver Us the Moon. I want to give a massive thank you to Wired Productions for giving me a code for this game. The sequel, Taking Place on Mars, is coming in September. So I wanted to play the original game. I've never played this before, so I wanted to jump in completely blind. So without further ado, let's begin. Friends and family of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil, which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have pledged support for refugees to... Oh! We're in gameplay. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Moon Man. A brave astronaut ventures to the moon. His mission is to explore new worlds, seek out new life and new civilizations, and boldly go where no one has gone before. <laughs> While the road is desolate and the hardships many, he knows that he must persevere to save mankind. I is that us? Are we doing that? We're going to the moon right now. Is alcohol a good idea? I don't think that's a good idea if we go into the moon, you know? Launch sequence. Oh, no. Do I have to remember this? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, that that's fun. You've done it a thousand times before during your simulations. We know you can do this. Can I? That's a lot of stuff to remember. Activate ground launch sequencer, retract orbital access arm. Okay, we'll get to that when we get to it. Oh, okay, so we can have haunted static. Or nothing. I'm going to stick with nothing, if that's all right with you. Ah, oh, it's my space suit. Ah, oh, this is bloody brilliant, this. Ground control to Fortuna 1, this is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Yes, reading you loud and clear. Radio contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. MPT transmits power from moon to Earth. Microwave power transmission MPT generates power inside a fusion reactor and sends it wirelessly to receivers on Earth. Fueled by helium-3 harvested on the moon. There she is, the Taurus 5. It took us four years to get her ready for launch. But you need to hurry. The dust storm will hit this area in a few hours. If we don't succeed now, the Fortuna mission will be over for good. Yes, so I don't know much about this game. I love space-related games, uh, so I don't know why I never picked this up when it came out. Uh, I've kind of seen that it's like an adventure game slash uh, puzzle game slash Uncharted. <laughs> well, from the trailer for the sequel, it definitely looks like that, so uh, that's pretty bloody fancy. So you go first person inside buildings? Huh. Daddy. <laughs> okay, Mr. Bean's here, apparently. Elizabeth kept Johnson family together after her husband Isaac assumed the role on Lunar Council. After her death, Claire took care of her sister, Kathy, before she was taken to the moon to live with Isaac. Both Isaac and Kathy have not been seen since the blackout. So maybe we're trying to find them, then? Daddy, m oh, Daddy, me, and Claire. Can I use the toilet? Oh, I can! Okay, that's cool. I like interactivity in video games. I think the only issue I have with this game right now is the UI is a bit too big. It's right in your face. Uh, that's the only issue I'm having, though. You see, like, the text and stuff? It's just a bit too big. Oh, is that Sputnik? Oh, my God! Oh, hello, Sputnik. You all right? Isn't that what the iBots in Fallout um, were based on, Sputnik? Because they look very similar. Okay, here we go. Right, yeah, this uh, this does not seem safe, I'm going to be honest. Uh, <laughs> also, why am I the only one that's setting this up? Let's climb up here. I, I can't believe I'm doing this on my own. Surely you should have an entire team, right? D do I trust this? <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Good, I see you're on your way up to the facility. The control center is located on the top floor. There you can prime the rocket for launch. So in the sequel, it seems like your main character has a voice, um, but right now, I don't appear to have one. Um, so maybe this character isn't voiced in this game? Okay, flashlight. Oh. 
oh, this is scary. Bloody Xenomorph's going to pop out and eat my nuts. Uh, <laughs> that's what's about to happen. If power is out, use code 3548 on the door. Uh, 3548. God, this place is really dark. Oh, that's nice. Ah, oh, the lighting's really nice in here, though. Space Tech Magazine. 2055. So that's when this game is supposedly happening. Um, so we are slightly in the future from now. Determined to seek the truth about 2054 Blackout and restore MPT connection, Maria Gonzalez has raised the Fortuna team from the ashes of the WSA. Since 2055, Maria's team has been secretly working on their mission. Actually, this might take place later then. Maybe that magazine was out of date. Is this a bottle cap? <laughs> this is Fallout. No. Uh, here we go. Uh, in memoriam. Hugens malfunction 2048. During the Hygens malfunction, we had comms with Earth. The blackout is different. How does a whole colony go silent? What happened up there? Xenomorphs. I told you before, it's bloody Xenomorphs. Dear Sarah, we met on the Pearson space station. I was relieved from service after Hygens cryosleep malfunction. Remember how we talked about my broken ASE? I'm looking for a way to extract its holographic data, and I'm hoping you can help me out, Maria. Hi, Maria. Of course I remember. Holographic data runs through a unique hardware component. I specialize more in software, so you should reach out to my colleague, Rolf Robertson, here on Pearson. He's an excellent mechanic, Sarah. Piecing all the story together slowly but surely. Don't forget, everyone, we've lost that day. Fluoxetine. Yeah, this game's hitting close to home. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maria's broken ASE unit. One of the few survivors of the 2048 Huygens cryosleep malfunction, Maria brought her damaged ASE unit back to Earth with her. She's been trying to repair her ASE in hopes of restoring holographic recordings captured by the device during her times at the Huygens research facility. Oh, we have to move this out of the way. So there is a uh, grabbing mechanics. Okay, you can move it completely. It's not like bloody old Tomb Raider or Toy Story 2 where you couldn't move left to right. You have to move forward and then change direction. I know that's a really old reference. I'm, I'm completely aware I'm a nerd. Um, and I'm old. Right. <laughs> I don't want to miss anything. Because like, there's going to be story beats here that I, I might miss. Um, so if I do, I'm sorry. This isn't a let's play. It's more of a kind of a first impressions. I know people are going to comment saying, you missed something. And I'll be like, ah. Oh. God damn it, every time. Well, for my video editing experience, that looks like an audio um, track, right? That looks like vocal lines. We're going to look at this first. For two to one is a go. Okay, so that's the spacecraft we're going to be using. Beer pong. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, and it's even got the ball of the cups. Oh, that's brilliant. I like little details like that. It makes the world feel lived in. Oh, I guess we're going through here then. <laughs> causes for the MPT blackout. One, the transmitter at Pearson Space Station. Claire, there you are. Come on, we're celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before, multiple times. We're good. Come, it's time to join the party. It won't take long, I'll be right there. <laughs> A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You're just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. I, I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. If we fail... Remember what I told you. If it can be done, then we're going to do it. That's all we have to focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. Causes of the blackout. So, this says 2059, so could we be playing in the 2060s, possibly, at this point? I'm trying to gauge where we are in time. <laughs> Recruited straight out of university, Claire Johansson designed the Taurus V rocket for the Fortuna mission. Claire was eager to join the team to uncover the fates of her father and sister on the moon after the 2054 blackout. Oh, look! This is what we've got to do! Oh, I'm going to forget all of this. I hope this is actually in the ship or something, so I can look it up. <laughs> Should I take a photo on my phone? You know what? I'm actually going to take a photo on my phone. Just so I have this. Right, I took the photo. 
<laughs> it's probably not needed. I'm probably thinking too much into this, but you never know. Every little helps, as Asta once said. Crew quarters is on the right-hand side. Control center's up here. Okay, here we go. You're in the control center. Get the rocket ready to launch as fast as possible. Um, sure. Yes, I can do that. Right. Uh, reboot. Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. Close both fuel valves. Right, I can do that. There's a lift there that takes me back down. So let's bring that up just in case. Here we go. Right, first valve is here. Yeah, come on. Okay. Right. Valve one is done. I'm assuming the second one must be downstairs then, right? Oh, I say that and there's a ladder right there. <laughs> okay. No, no, it's this one. Oh, I was bloody right. I've played video games before. Right, let's see if it's down here. Well, that brings me back down to... Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I'm I'm a bloody genius. Right, here we go. Come on. So I'm guessing these are like the puzzle elements to the game. I don't think there's like physical puzzles. They're more environmental, uh, kind of like Uncharted or Tomb Raider, I guess, which I like because normally I'm terrible at puzzles. I can't even play Portal. That's no joke. I literally can't play Portal. My brain literally doesn't work with portals. Right, let's put that there. Turn this. Come on. All right. Okay, right, we're ready to go. That's it. The rocket is primed. You have to launch now before the dust storm destroys the rocket and everything we've worked for. Oh my god, one minute twenty eight. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, go. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Does it need me to remember the bloody uh, launch sequence? Hang on. This is not fair, game. You can't do this. Come on, keep going. I've got one minute. Oh, no. Right, open my photo app. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. Hurry up. Okay, go. Come on! Right, I'm inside. Climb! We have to I'm going now! Come on! Rocket navigation systems online. We're nearly there. It's just like your training. You can do this. Okay. Initiate launch procedure. Yeah. Uh, yes. Y yes. Okay. Rocket launch sequencer started. Booting. Right. And then it's... The orbital access arm, which is this one. Orbital access arm retracting. Okay. Be more careful. Oh, no, I need to do that. Perfect, like nice. Tracking. Right. And then it's auxiliary power unit. Okay. I think it's actually just showing me where to press. <laughs> Wait, oh, hang on. Ha what? Hang on. Right, all of these first, maybe? Oh, come on. What does it want me to do here? Oh, oh, hang on. Uh, A1... Oh god, game! Don't, don't do this. All right, A three, uh, B three, B three, B four. Oh, okay. I nearly run out of time. Okay, uh, launch sequence. Uh, where is it? This one again? Okay. There. No. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Uh. And then it's quickly release all valves. Okay, I can do that. No, no, no. Okay, I'm going to have to be right on the ball with this one. There. Sound suppression system engaged. Uh-huh. Hydrogen burn off. Burn off. Hydrogen burn off system activated. Okay. Rocket boosters ready for ignition. Here we go. Sending life down. Five, four, three, two, one. Rocket boosters ignition start. Engines ready in five, four. Three, two, start, one. We have liftoff! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, I suppose that's one way of doing it. 
it, it did help me out quite a bit, actually. Um, I was literally going to use the instructions, but, uh, oh my god, that's so cool! Oh. <laughs> it was right <laughs> Oh, god damn it! We're in space. The rocket has entered the thermosphere. You're on your way, Virginia One. I'm in space. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, wow. Back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about a future. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Hello! From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, there appears a clear. We need to head down to the shelter. These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio contact. You'll be on your own for a while. To reach the station, you must. Hello? Please. Okay, flip. Press. And pull. And I think that's a good place to end. Um, I, I'm probably going to return to this, actually, because um, I really like this so far. We have gone to the moon, and now we are waiting above thy moon. Uh, I really, really like this opening. I thought this was bloody fantastic. That really did get my pulse racing, trying to get to the ship in time. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Comment down below if you played this before. Are you going to be picking this up and the sequel? I think you can buy a double pack of this game and the sequel when it's released. So that's bloody fantastic. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, comment down below. But until next time, that's me out. Bye, guys.